Hey you guys, this is Jeremy Taylor with Music Marketing TV and today we're going to be taking a look at Yuhi's Ace and I'm going to show you guys how to create a really analog sounding pad. So I have the initial preset lined up so if I play it, it just sounds like a basic analog synth. First thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of try to turn this into a more mellow, smoother sounding pad. We're going to start with the first one right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the ADSR because everything is using ADSR1 as its basic initial envelope. Uh, I want the attack to be kind of really slow, the decay to be a little bit faster than that, sustain will be long, and then the release will be just a tiny bit shorter than that. Let's play it now. That sounds good to me. So now we're going to use the VCF filter 1, which is what is actually feeding over here. As you see right here, it says VCF1. So now we're going to change the cutoff frequency. Gain it up to drive it hard. We'll bring the key follow up just to kind of bring back some of that edge. That sounds pretty good to me. Next, we are using the ADSR to kind of control the uh, envelope of the filter. So let's bring this up. That sounds pretty good. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to use the LFO. And since the LFO control is completely linked to the LFO2, we're going to be using the bottom LFO to control that. Bring this up just a couple of notches. And we will change the phase and everything with it. That is just enough movement to give me some difference. We'll pan this all the way to the left and we'll bring the volume all the way down. Now we bring the second one up and if we play it, it should follow the same ADSR. Good. Now the first thing I wanna do is I wanna change this LFO control to the first one. So all we gotta do is we gotta click on this and connect them. Now that we have that, we can worry about the cutoff. I also want to change the VCO a little bit because the bottom one is going to be on the right side. So we want this to sound a little bit different. So let's change the uh, wave. And the pulse width. Now for the LFO2 on the actual VCF, we're going to bring it up a little bit. We're going to see what type of sounds we can get out of that. That sounds pretty good. Let's bring up the resonance. Pan this all the way to the right, and we'll bring these both up and see what we get. So next, what we want to do to make this sound nice and thick, we'll add three sacks and make it a total of four, and we'll see what we get. That sounds pretty good considering the uh, preset we started with. Let's reinitialize that. And let's go back to what we created. Cool. So now let's just hit record and we'll see what we can make out of this. Here we go. So we messed up a little bit, but that's not that big of a deal because we can just edit it, select it all, we quantize it, and let's see what we get. Yeah. 
and then we can edit the orchestration as we feel is necessary. Anyway, that's it for today's video. This has been Jeremy Mattel with Music Marketing TV, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.